Becky, well, meatloaf is one of the great comfort foods, but it comes with calories, it comes with fat. Well, today in our Healthy Swap, we're dropping meatloaf from 504 calories a serving down to 228. Chef Kelly York back with us from the Kitchen Hotline. Good to see you. Good morning. So what's, what's the key as far as dropping all of those calories? Well, the key is, first of all, you're using a leaner meat. Bison is generally uh, a nutrient-dense leaner meat. It's leaner than uh, skinless chicken breast. It's also raised usually in the pasture so it doesn't have all the hormones and the antibiotics and chemicals. And the flavor? The flavor is excellent. It tastes like beef. Um, actually, it tastes a little sweeter than beef in my opinion and it's just excellent. So we're using the bison today to make the beet loaf and it's a very simple recipe, very it quick. Looks and feels like ground beef when you're preparing very, it, right? Very much so. And then we're going to add onions, carrots, and celery. Always good. Lots of vegetables. Yep. Helps boost up a lot of the nutrients. We're adding whole Whole grain instead of like a breadcrumb, bread which crumb, is just yeah. refined white flour. So we're using um, whole oats and uh, wheat bran. Then we add egg beaters. You can use regular eggs, but I like to use egg beaters because they're essentially egg whites. Okay. Lots and lots of seasoning, and that helps you have to uh, be able to cut down not having to rely on so much salt. Salt, pepper, rosemary, sage, yep. thyme, all in here? Yep. Wonderful flavor. You're going to mix that and let all of the egg absorb the... Uh, the, the whole grains a little bit, it'll swell up a little bit. And once you get that evenly mixed, you're gonna put it in a loaf pan, okay. pat it down, and what we did is have a finished one here for you. Once you pat it down, you're gonna use a cup of um, tomato paste instead of ketchup, right. it has less sugar, it's higher in lycopene. It's more, got pure. Mere, mere pure, uh, more pure. Then we're gonna add a sprinkling of black olives. And you put those through a food processor or just Yes, cut you can them buy them pre-chopped. Okay. Or you could buy them whole and chop them yourself. And then we're going to add uh, uh, capers to the top of that. And capers are another uh, full flavonoids, very all, healthy. All that goes on before we hit the oven. Yes, and then 375 for about 45 minutes to maybe an hour and 15. You want to get it to an internal temperature of 160. Now, after your meatloaf is done, this will this this recipe will serve about six. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have any leftovers, it makes great um, club sandwiches. You can use it for okay. tacos sure. or maybe some um, crustades. Uh, Hors d'oeuvres. We talked leftover. about dropping the calories from 504 to 228, but also 31 grams of fat down to 6 grams of fat. Yes. That's a big drop. And your fiber content also comes up because of the whole grains. Well, as so. always, the recipe's on the website at kwgn.com. Also, if you have questions about how to make your foods healthier, you can always call Kelly and those at the Kitchen Hotline. Today, between noon and 4 p.m., the number is 877-773-8485. Take advantage of that. Kelly, thanks so much for coming in this morning yeah, through the day. snow. Mm -hmm. All right, Bronco Mania, of course, hitting full speed. The team moving on in the playoffs.